In life, it's always important to plan ahead. One area to be proactive involves your final wishes. Many people decide during their lifetime to donate their body to science, which means that when they die, their body is transferred to a certain type of organization for the purpose of studying anatomy, advancing knowledge, discovering medical breakthroughs, and developing surgical procedures. When you donate your body to science, an organization that you select receives the body after you pass away. Typically, that organization is a medical school or some similar place such as a dental school, physical therapy school, or pharmacy. A wide range of medical areas are studied, such as orthopedics and ophthalmology, just to name a few. Medical students, doctors, and other professionals come to a better understanding of human anatomy and related subjects through studying the body. It can take many months to complete the studies on one body. The organization engaging in study on the human body should treat the body ethically and with the utmost respect and dignity. Although each program is different, there are some fairly common procedures. For example, often when a person passes away who made the decision ahead of time to donate his or her body to science, someone with the donation program will speak with medical professionals about details, such as the cause of death and condition of the body. Afterwards, the donation program determines whether the body meets their requirements and can be accepted. If accepted, the person's body is transported to the location of donation, often with the family coordination of the person who died. When a person donates his or her body to science, there's no burial or cremation right away. The family and other loved ones can hold a memorial service. Burial or cremation doesn't happen until a later time when research involving the person's body is completed. The decision to donate one's body to science happens while a person is still alive. There are various procedures a person has to complete, depending on many considerations, and the medical school or the organization's specific criteria and policies. A preferable place to donate would be a medical school with strong oversight and accountability. There's a list of medical schools throughout the United States that receive donated bodies. It's a lot to think about and consider, and quite likely one of the most important decisions you will ever make. Make sure you let your family know your decisions as you become informed as much as possible to make the best decision for you.